Okay, uh, this video is going to focus all around uh, river flooding case studies. You've got two river flooding case studies that you are going to need to know, okay? Uh, in case the exam question asks you for an MEDC river you have studied or an LEDC river you have studied, okay? So we'll start with Boss Castle. Obviously, you have your case study sheet, but we will go into a little bit of key detail. Uh, location, southwest Cornwall, Boss Castle is located on the northern coastline of Cornwall. Okay, bit of location of detail, the town of Bude is located to the east and New Quay to the west. Uh, what we're interested in then is always, there's two types of questions that we'll cover and we'll show how each case study can be used for both types of questions. Okay, um, the physical causes, so the causes of flooding, um, describe the causes of flooding um, and explain the effects or the impacts on people and property. Okay, or Describe the effects um, on people and property and explain what has been done to try and reduce the impact of flooding. Okay? So, a question that involves cause and effects, or a question that might involve cause and response, uh, a question that involves effects and response. So, physical causes of Boss Castle. I think the first and most important thing to say is if you get asked for a river you have studied, then you need to name one of three rivers. That runs, that runs into Boss Castle or converges um, on the outskirts of Boss Castle, okay? So if you get for a river you have studied, it's the Valency or the Jordan or the Paradise River, okay? Most people tend to go for the Valency and Jordan. To reiterate, if it says for a river you have studied and you put Boss Castle, you'll cost yourself marks because Boss Castle is the place, okay? So for a river you have studied, the Valency or the Jordan, okay? So our physical causes, 185 millimetres of rain fell in just under five hours, okay? And that fell onto already saturated ground. It didn't soak in, and therefore we had increased overland flow, making our way into the rivers, okay? Um, the three rivers themselves, the balance of the Jordan and the Paradise, converge on the village. So you have a large amount of water confluencing as it flows into the village of Boss Castle, okay? The actual rock below the soil is called red sandstone and that has very limited permeability so water doesn't soak into it very easily okay and like water quickly stops soaking into the rock and again came back up onto the surface flowed over the surface and then we have the village surrounded by steep slopes and that basically funneled the water at speed water flowing over ground into the rivers down through the rivers and then down into the village okay so physical causes human causes uh, what humans have done, um, they had reduced the capacity of the river by narrowing it, so narrowed the width so that it could cope with less water flowing through it, wouldn't take as long to flood. Uh, removing vegetation, we've looked at the idea of deforestation on a previous video, removing vegetation in the valley, so therefore you had increased surface runoff, reduced interception and absorption rates by the trees. Uh, we also have settlement developed on a narrow floodplain where rainfall is often high, uh, so we've got a, a sort of physical factor there as well because we've got high levels of rainfall but um, settlement developed means impermeable surfaces. Impermeable surfaces, increased surface runoff and finally no new flood defences that are being constructed. So physical and human you've got your place detail in there, things like the parent rock being sandstone, the amount of rain falling in five hours, the steep slopes uh, and so on and so forth. Effects of the flood 25 businesses were destroyed, uh, the business centre was destroyed, 50 homes suffered flood damage, 32 vehicles and 4 footbridges were washed out to sea. Nobody died, there was one injury and that was a broken thumb and insurance companies paid out 20 million to repair damaged properties. Okay, Again, it's the, it's the numbers. Okay, It is the numbers uh, that, are, that are mentioned there, the 25 businesses, the 50 homes, the 32 vehicles and four foot bridges, okay? Um, so you've got that, some, I think it's like two or three helicopters were called out as well. You could get that in there. Uh, the response, four key things to remember, four key things to focus on for uh, Boss Castle. Uh, they built uh, new foot defence walls in the busiest parts of the town to increase the height of the river, or to increase the height the river has to reach before it floods. They widened and deepened the channel, so the river was deepened by 0.75 metres, so it's got more capacity to carry water, okay? which means it takes longer for it to flood. They raised the bridges, so they built new bridges and they raised them higher to uh, reduce the risk of debris getting stuck and blocking the channel, and they removed trees on the riverbank so that if they did fall into the river they wouldn't block up, so they took that risk away. Um, to reduce the risk of uh, trees being uprooted by the flood 
and blocking up the river channel. Okay, so they remove trees on the river bank. So that's Boss Castle. Uh, as I say, key things: know your specific place, detail, cause and effect, and know uh, and know what's being done to reduce the impacts in the future. Our LEDC example, a little bit smaller, so it would be worthwhile having this in front of you. Um, similar sort of idea really, causes, effects and response and protection methods. So physical causes, you've got rapid snow melt from the Himalayas, always adds to the volume of water every year. Um, heavy monsoon rain causes summer flooding, they get intense rainfall for three to four months uh, during that time, usually between sort of May, June all the way through till September. 70% of the land is less than one metre above sea level, so therefore water has nowhere to drain to. 80% to of Bangladesh is a floodplain, so it's land that it sits lower than the sea level, or just like above the sea, yeah, less than one metre above sea level, just above it, so it doesn't take very much to flood. Again, similar to Boss Castle, we have the meeting of three huge rivers at a confluence near the capital, Dakar. Um, and you've also got increased surface runoff causes soil erosion, which means silt ends up in the riverbed. So basically, the, as the water flows over the soil, it takes the soil with it. Um, at this point, it is worth noting that again, for a river you have studied, it is uh, called the Jamuna, J-A-M-U-N-A. -A. If you put the Jamuna River, that would be an accepted specific place detail. Uh, human causes, deforestation in the Himalayas, um, usually being cleared for fuel and grazing and then obviously down in Dakar you've got rapid unplanned urban growth. Uh, the effects, LEDC, greater amount of effects really, 36 million people were made homeless, um, the death toll was around 800 people dying as a result of either being drowned in the flood or through disease because they had no access to clean water. Um, the value of the damage was around 2.2 billion dollars the flood caused serious, serious damage to infrastructure, roads, bridges, embankments, etc. And 8,000, 800,000 hectares of agricultural land was flooded. Uh, your response and protection methods, so what did they do to respond to it? If your question is asking you about what has been done to reduce the impact of flooding for people in the future, they've raised homes two metres above sea level on earth banks to ensure that they're out of the reach of flood waters. Uh, they built a uh, flood and storm shelter, so around two hectares, large amount of raised land where people can bring livestock and each shelter holds 100 families. Uh, that's an error on your sheet, so when you look at your sheet whilst watching this, it is 100 families and includes a community room and toilets, radios to make sure that rescue operations are easy to do and that flood warnings can be given prior, so therefore evacuation plans are more effective. Uh, Slew escapes uh, down in Dakar in the capital, which take in water when levels rise, so it's like little diversion channels, you've got your main river flow and the sluice gates open, so the excess water flows off into them, and then embankment similar to basically they've, they've done that with the river okay so your embankments are on either side and that again that means that the river has to flow upwards or rise upwards and outwards in order to uh, to be able to flood okay so two case studies Boss Castle is your MEDC uh, Bangladesh is your LEDC Boss Castle, the Jordan or the Valency would be two of your rivers to mention. The Bangladesh, the Jamuna would be a river to mention. Make sure you know your causes, make sure you know your effects and what they've done to reduce the impact and make sure you've got your specific place detail in there.